This informational video is based on the City Corp building in New York City. The presenters in the video are Lindsay Eisentrout, Brandon Kaiser, and Daniel McDonough. This video is based on a research paper written by Travis M. Bradshaw. The City Corp building was designed by William J. Le Monsieur. He also designed three other uh, well-known buildings, Boston City Hall, Singapore Treasury Building, and the Bank of America Plaza. On the proposed site for the building, a church built in 1905 resided. The columns allowed for the St. Peter's Church to be kept as a freestanding part of the building. The City Corps building was constructed in 1977 and cost $195 million. The building entailed 59 stories and was aluminum skinned. The building was built on four massive nine-story columns to account for the church that was to be built underneath. The columns were centrally located on the exterior walls, causing the corners of the building to be cantilevered. Upon completion of its construction, it was the seventh tallest building in the world. The column positioning was designed to counter the quartering winds. Without Le Monsieur's knowledge, the design of the connections were changed from welded to bolted. This is an example of how wind can affect deflection on a building. A meeting between the steel manufacturer, owner, and designer led to a design change from welded to bolted connections. This occurred without the knowledge of Le Monsieur. The bolted connection was chosen due to easy constructability and lower cost. The members of the meeting did not realize that this significantly reduced the strength of the connection. After talking to a student, it was brought to Le Messier's attention that quartering winds might subject the structure to higher forces than accounted for. The New York City Building Code only required designing such structures for perpendicular wind loading. After analyzing quartering wind loads, the strain increased by 40% for welded connections. After Le Messier found out that his connections were changed to bolted connections, he determined the increase in strain would be 160%. This increase would cause the building to fail when subjected to a 16-year wind event. A quick fix was to weld a 2-inch thick plate to 200 bolted joints throughout the building. During the construction process, Hurricane Ella's path was headed directly towards New York City. The American Red Cross was informed and a weather advisory group was formed to keep them updated on the path of Hurricane Ella four times a day. This crisis was averted, however, when the hurricane switched its path and the fix was completed in time.